6 a.m. Monday morning. Just getting up, doing some mobility <laughs> here glutes. for our morning. squat day. Jason's warming up his hip flexors. How are you? How are you? Stretching out the back here, talking Still the nonsense. Tunes back. And today, we're going to be doing some squats. So, after about a 10 minute warm up on the treadmill, get right to the foam roller and do about 10 to 12 reps per body part. So, I'll do my IT bands, I'll do my quads, I'll do my hamstrings, I'll do my calves, and then I'll do some dynamic stretching after that. But, uh, yeah, these are crucial before entering the squat rack. Um, definitely don't support anyone who skips stretching and mobility before training because that puts you at large risk of injury and yeah I've got some goals to complete here anyway so yeah 10 to 12 reps per body part put on the adductors and hamstrings here and just getting ready to squat all right so into the squat rack we go um, this is my third warm-up set at two plates and just getting the getting the entire body warmed up just going through the movements trying to get everything as engaged as possible before I get into my working sets and today we're going for three sets of eight um, just regular squats so yeah this is this is the warm-up I'm really trying to focus on breaking at the hips as opposed to breaking at your knees before you start squatting that way I can keep that straight bar path and try not to roll too far forward. So this is the second week of my new training phase and I'm doing three sets of eight at 295. Just looking to progress about 10% each week at max. And uh, yeah, this is the first time training volume in quite a long time. So this is pretty much my cardio. was feeling super stiff this morning so these squats are definitely not my best but you know what sometimes you gotta train in suboptimal conditions and just push through it I also like the fact that I didn't use a belt today just really focusing on getting that breath in and keeping that core tight then we moved on to stiff leg deadlifts going for uh, three sets of ten and just really going for the stretch. This is actually the first time I've ever really incorporated these into my program. I'm used to the barbell stiff leg deadlift. But this is a really nice change. Uh, the movement just feels amazing. I tried to get my actual neutral spine position, but the camera didn't capture it. So Definitely felt the stretch from these, and I would recommend anyone trying to incorporate that into their program. And this is the last little bit of my workout. I didn't capture the other bits, but five sets of sled pushes, uh, 90 pounds aside, just working on the explosiveness, pumping up the quads, and trying to go as fast as I can. A little post-workout ritual here. Uh, I got my veggie greens and my spirulina. I like to mix those up together. Surprisingly, the veggie greens gives it a somewhat drinkable taste but I just chug it back just to get the micronutrients uh, plus I get a ton of energy from this spirulina so recommend that to anyone alright guys that's it for this video thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more videos um, if you'd like you could click and subscribe and have a great day thanks